Hello comic book fans, here's Earl Grey with a postscriptum video to my last one about the London based publisher Nobrow. They do in true DIY fashion fantastic comic books, art books, books with illustrations and DIY in their case it simply means doing the stuff how you really want them to be and to look. Uh, the best paper and fantastic printing techniques. Um, look at the shiny shimmery things that are going on for an example in this book here. Um, and I forgot to include the Big Mother art books here. Uh, this is number four, uh, this is number two and Three were the uh, art from Rika Sormunen, and all three of them. Uh, number one is out of print. Um, not so sure about these two. This is still available, at least on the Nobra website, uh, but I think you can get it everywhere, even though it's um, it was printed some years ago. All three of them are almost triple usual comic book size or about uh, really huge things um, maybe my favorite of them is Raymond Lemstra's um, book here wonderful surrealistic art actually have restarted my video to avoid the church bells that are ringing in the background but I don't know they won't stop ring the bells today maybe this fits uh, as a good background soundtrack here I don't know um, This really is wonderful, even though uh, these books don't have that much of a page count here. Um, every page and double page is a joy to look at. Maybe my favorite two pages are uh, these two here. It seems that the original art was a lot smaller than the, the book here and was blown up to make an impression and an making an impression it sure does at least for me <laughs> this pair here really cracks me up yeah wonderful book um, same goes for the other two of them Rika Sormunen um, has a thing for these jaded ladies uh, art deco style very decorative a bit morbid because hey let's see uh, what's what's this monkey on her back and what she's reading right there um, very decorative part wise um, yeah really nice I would like a cup of tea as well here these morbid, bored creatures um, filling each page here. And there's really a dark undertone to it. Look at this dollhouse here, which is a bit too detailed to be a mere toy. And the whole background setting. Yeah. And <laughs> look at her here. Um, it's a bit, it's not just nice, it's a bit dark and playing around with these uh, tropes of sexiness and
Okay, and now to the second installment of Big Mother, and my third and last for today. Sam Vanna Le Mersch, however. These are more these Where's Waldo uh, style pictures. If though this is very freakish and and wild, it's my least favorite of them three. Um, maybe just for the reason that uh, some pages are split between these different pictures here, it really doesn't make this um, advantage of the format. Yeah. On the other hand, you get four uh, drawings instead of just one. Uh, each double page spread. And each illustration taken for itself is really beautiful. But I'm not so sure about this presentation that where you have them edge to edge uh, on this double page here. Anyhow, there's no regret uh, in um, purchasing this book here, neither. So all three of these books are highly, highly recommended. And as I said, it, uh, the Raymond Lemstra book is maybe the most interesting of them three, but maybe that's just my opinion. Uh, you can judge for yourself, I think. Thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.